Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a spicy chicken legs. So here's the chicken legs. I cut it here and then I also cut it on the other side so they'll be cooked inside. Uh, they're so used. See how big they are? I cannot find uh, small chicken legs or wings and so this is what I have. So let's start it. We're going to need a black pepper, so you just sprinkle it here, probably uh, one tablespoon, garlic salt, another one tablespoon, salt, oops, salt, another tablespoon like that. Okay, this one is optional, but you can use a lime, the green one, and you can use one or two. So you slice it like this, and then you just squeeze it on top of the chicken. So this, what I'm doing right now is marinating the chicken. I'm using 10 of this little one. Is I think it's equivalent to one line. These are Filipino line. I have a tree in the backyard, so that's what I'm using. What you do next is you just have to mix everything and massage the chicken. Okay, massage the chicken like this, so the marinade will go inside the meat, and then we'll leave the chicken marinate for like uh, 15 minutes okay now we're going to prepare the dry ingredients to make the chicken crunchy so i'm going to use all-purpose flour okay uh, because i have 12 pieces of big chicken i'm gonna use one cup of uh, flour and maybe one and a half okay so that's all-purpose flour and then to make it crunchy we're going to use cornstarch this one we're going to use one cup this one is three four Okay. We're also going to put black pepper. That's probably uh, one tablespoon garlic salt, one tablespoon, and a little bit salt. We don't want it too salty, so one teaspoon. onion powder, one teaspoon, chipotle, if you have, if you don't have it's okay, one teaspoon, paprika, one tablespoon. Okay, so these are the dry ingredients. Now it's time to make the hot sauce. So let's turn on the fire. Uh, we'll put it on medium, medium low heat. Okay, we have three tablespoons of butter, unsalted, two tablespoons minced garlic, three tablespoons soy sauce, chili flakes we also gonna use the Filipino weapon is uh, banana ketchup this is the brand and then we're gonna use barbecue sauce my husband favorite okay and 
brown sugar. Let's start making the sauce, the hot sauce, okay? The butter. This will make the sauce shiny. The garlic. After that, we're going to put the soy sauce. I don't measure, so it's up to you how much you want. Okay, but for now, I'm going to put maybe uh, one cup because I have a lot of chicken. And this one right here, maybe uh, one cup also. This one, every time, it's hard to... Uh, See that? This is the problem. You have to poke it inside. See, I poke it to help it to get the banana sauce come out. It's so thick. See? It won't come out. So you're just gonna have to keep on doing this. With air. So it comes up. Okay. That's about one cup, and don't worry, we'll taste it later. And then we'll find out if it needs more. Okay, you just stir it like this. Okay, and then we're going to put uh, brown sugar. Okay, that's uh, four teaspoons. You know the sauce, you don't really have to measure the sauce. So once you have all these ingredients, and all you have to do is taste it, and you'll know if it's already good enough. Okay, let me try. Mm. Okay. I don't want it too sweet, so the sugar is good enough. Because the banana ketchup is also sweet, and the barbecue sauce is sweet, and now we're going to put the chili flakes. This is one tablespoon to make it spicy. So this is how you make the sauce. Let's taste it again. Ew, it's too spicy. Oh my God, I have a stomach ache. Okay, turn it off. So that's how you make the sauce. Okay, now let's go back to our chicken. They've been marinating for like maybe 20 minutes or so. I don't remember. But anyway, these are big chicken drumstick. See, I don't know. See how big they are? It's really big. Okay, so we're going to dip it here. Make sure we cover everything inside out. This one look like a uh, turkey legs. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. So. So now it looks like this. Right there. Do another one. Make sure you take out the, the seeds of those uh, limes. Okay. 
I'll do the same thing. You're asking me where I got this chicken. I got him at Winkle, my favorite store. I tried to find a small drumstick, but this is all they have. I don't like the frozen one, so I got the fresh one. I'm gonna turn it on. For now, we're gonna put it on medium. It's number seven. And we're going to use this oil to fry the chicken. So the oil is more than half of the cast iron pan. I'm gonna cook the big pieces first. All right, so I'm gonna put four big pieces of chicken and cook it for and cook it for like 10 minutes. Okay, it's time to take them out. Let them sit here and let them cool because we're going to cook them one more time. All right, now let's cook more chicken. Then we'll have four more over here, total 12. Okay, now we're going to cook the last four pieces of this chicken. Okay guys, the last four are now done. They should look like this. Now, if you want your chicken to be crispy till the next day, you have to fry your chicken one more time, all right? So the first four legs that I cooked earlier will be the first one to go. Trust me, you have to do this, guys, if you want your chicken crunchy.
so we're cooking it. All of this. But first, we have to start with the first four. We'll go in order. Okay? Okay, these are now ready. They are golden brown. See? They have to be golden brown. Okay, now let's come away. Golden Because these are uh, chicken legs and they are very big, that's why it takes a long time to cook them. But if we're cooking the chicken wings and they're small, it doesn't take this long. Okay, the last four are now done. Really golden brown. All we have to do now is put the sauce. I want to add some more butter. One tablespoon. Like this. To make it more shiny. Now we're warming up. The fire. And then we're going to start uh, putting sauce on the chicken. Okay? Now the butter is melted already. We're gonna turn off the fire. Usually guys, when I make uh, chicken wings, I usually just dump the chicken wings here and stir them up, mix them all up with the sauce. But because the chicken legs are so big, so we're just gonna brush them with the sauce. I'm just gonna brush them like this. One by one. And then later maybe we'll put them together. We'll put them back here, all of them at one time. Okay? See that? Because if I dump all the chicken legs here, they may not fit. Not enough room. So I'm just gonna brush them like this. Just keep on doing this. Like that. Okay, last chicken. Wow, I just have enough sauce for the whole 12 pieces of big drumstick. More sauce. The chicken. 
<clears throat> okay, the chicken are now done. They got the sauce. They look good. Yummy. Okay. I hope you guys learned something how to make the sauce for my hot chicken legs. You can also use it for chicken wings. Follow the procedure how I cook the chicken. And this will be crunchy till tomorrow. Okay. See you later. Bye.